going on guys happy wednesday i woke up feeling really good this morning um just feeling really encouraged uh, i had a dream about my dad last night which was actually really great for the most part it was weird it was like he was a lot younger like a lot younger but i was still the same age and we were like walking down the street we were going i think to get something to eat together and he was like showing me off to all of his friends that he knew on the street and i think one of my biggest things is i like want to know that my dad was truly proud of me and i believe that my dad was proud of me but i feel like there are certain things that he wishes like he always wants me he always wanted me to just be married and be happy and have kids and i didn't like i don't have that i mean i am happy but um he just kind of feels like having a partner makes you happier and i don't feel that way um so he was like showing me off to his friends and and then i ended up like veering off and doing something and then coming back and then we were like getting we ended up getting in the car and like right when we were getting in the car he was like nibbling on something and then he like vomited and then i woke up because i was like panicking like i didn't know what was happening so i'm glad that i ended up waking up because i didn't want the dream to end negatively it was just interesting but um it was just nice i don't know it was a good dream for the most part right up until the very end but i'm just glad like i said that i woke up before it got really bad but anyway um i'm about to go to the gym i'm feeling very very motivated i joined the transformation challenge again <laughs> you know i i realized that like this last three years has been so mentally exhausting just like dealing you know being afraid of losing my dad and the cancer and he's been in and out of the hospital so many times that it was so emotionally draining and i just didn't really have it in me to i don't know I, you know food is very comforting for me and i mean i've been doing really well i've been tracking my macros and i've been making really good progress over the last maybe six months or whenever i started my macro journey but like the transformation challenges i just didn't have it in me to push harder but now i feel like i don't know i feel like now that i don't like i don't have to worry about my dad anymore he's now at peace he's resting he's no longer suffer like in pain he wasn't in pain but unless he just didn't tell me because he wouldn't tell me sometimes <clears throat> but um he doesn't have to worry about his cancer anymore is basically what i mean and um now that i don't have to worry about him i feel like i can put more of, of that energy into fitness and stuff so i'm hoping that this time i do better but um yeah anywho i'm about to do biceps and triceps today and i'm looking forward to this workout actually so hopefully i'll film it i just i don't know why i care about filming in front of people but i need to get over that so uh, I'm gonna try to film this workout and yeah. What's going on? Workout done. It was really good. I had a fabulous workout actually. It felt really nice. Then I went to Target to grab a few things. I got some clothing, um, just a few things so I can take some pictures and things. I got some things that work a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, so I'm excited. Jerilyn and I are doing another little photo shoot on Saturday, I believe. So I'm very much looking forward to doing that. It was so much fun doing that with her. Um, and I'm excited to do it again and start making it a regular thing. But uh, right now, I just got ready, obviously. Washed my hair, um, took it, you know, all that stuff. Um, and now I'm about to eat a little something. I'm going to paint my nails. And I'm going to, um, I vacuum the house. Um, and I, I have a bunch of stuff I need to do. My house is still a mess even though I vacuumed it and it's like clean. It's just very cluttery because that's something that I struggle with. But <clears throat> I'm getting better. Um, but I'm going to hurry up and get some stuff done. I want to make sure that I'm done. Everything is set up and ready to go when she gets here. Of oh, Jerry, oh, Jerry Lynn, because we're going to, <laughs> I guess I should explain what, who's going to get here. Um, Jerry Lynn and I are filming Real Talk Thursday today. Um, we were going to do it last week, but I just wasn't ready. I said I was at first on Wednesday, last 
last Tuesday, but then on Wednesday I just had a really hard day. Um, today I feel pretty good, so I really want to take advantage of how I'm feeling and make sure that we get a Real Talk Thursday recorded. It is a beautiful day. It's not too hot. Um, so I open the window, turn the air off. And now I'm gonna um, just eat. I made, I had a, I had more pot pie filling, so I made another chicken pot pie. So I'm going to eat some of that and edit a vlog, um, work on a couple of reels and TikToks. And yeah, it's gonna be a productive day. It's already been a really good day, so I'm looking forward to the rest of it. <clears throat> Food was delish, delish. Here it is, it is very, very tasty. Um, so I had some of that. And now I'm putting some stuff away. My head is really hurting, but I think that it's because I'm dehydrated because I haven't really, I mean, I drink water at the gym, but I didn't really drink a whole lot of water outside of that. And it was only like half of my water bottle. So I need to drink more. I've been using this instead lately. Let me get you guys on here real quick. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Target. Uh, I didn't get anything crazy, but I got some Metamucil because if you have issues with digestion, basically all Metamucil is is psyllium husk. Yeah, so the main ingredient is psyllium husk, so it gets like really thick if you let it sit too long. Um, but this Metamucil specifically, like you can just get psyllium husk like pure, but it just it doesn't have any flavor. I like this because it actually tastes delicious it tastes like orange tang and it's really good I think um, so yeah I got that I also got some turkey hot dogs I was hungry when I went to <laughs> Target and um, like really hungry <clears throat> I was eyeing all the candy and the junk food so I got some turkey franks and because I was hungry I was thinking ooh chili dogs so I got one of these this is obviously not good for you, but I count my macros and I eat whatever I want in moderation. I also saw these, and I'm a gummy freak, okay? I don't know what it is about gummies. I am just like obsessed with, especially lately. But I saw these Skittles gummies. And I guess they're new. So I'm going to try these. And they have Starburst gummies. What? So I'm excited about these because... I love gummies. Then, I've never had Takis before. I know it's a shocker, but everybody loves Takis from what I hear. And I feel like everything is so overrated online. I feel like influencers that try these food trends, like literally everybody says that everything tastes good. And it's like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I feel like people just say it tastes good because everybody else said it tastes good. So I'm gonna try Takis. I'm gonna try some Takis. And then I got the clothes, which I'm not going to show you. You'll have to follow me on Instagram if you want to see that. And, or, no, I think Instagram, because I don't think I'm going to do anything with, like, fit, uh, fashion and stuff on TikTok. I'm not sure. But I, I did start a TikTok, and I'm excited about it. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, the link will be in the description box as well. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I um, also got, like, a big bag of cucumbers from Christy at work. She gave me this huge bag of cucumbers. I'm very excited about them because I've been doing cold-pressed juices. I told you guys about, um, and I really love them. So I'm going to order a bunch more fruit today. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, my camera shut off. Um, anyway, I was saying, oh, I've been doing the cold-pressed juicing. Um, I have really thoroughly been enjoying that, so I'm ordering a bunch more fruit today. So I'm going to cold press, cold press juice a bunch of fruit today. And then um, tomorrow, Gerilyn is doing a fast on her Instagram. She announced that she was doing a fast for the 24 hours. I'm thinking about doing it with her but i'm not gonna fast food period i'm only gonna drink juices so i'm only gonna drink the cold pressed juice and protein i think i'm not 100 percent positive but i think i might do it too um because i have i have some specific things that i am believing the lord for and i really just need 
I feel like I've gained, I've gotten so much more clarity. I've been way more motivated in things. So, um, I feel pretty confident about a lot now, but yeah, I just don't feel like it would hurt to do it. So, um, I'm just gonna do mine a little bit differently. But I'm thinking about doing it. I'm not 100% sure yet. But anyway, regardless, I will drink the juices because I actually really, I really enjoy them. I think they taste really good. And it's a good way to get like my vegetables and things in. So um, I'm going to uh, definitely make the juices regardless. But I'm just flirting with the idea of doing the fast whistle. If you guys, oh, you, by the time you see this, it'll be over. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, anyway, whatever. If you want to fast on your own, you should fast on your own because sometimes it gives you clarity. You don't have to necessarily fast food. You could fast social media. You could fast television. You can fast the phone, uh, like phone calls and texts if you, you know, do that too much and just spend time with the Lord, like whatever. Anyway, I'm about to, what do I need to do? I need to paint my nails. I need to edit the vlog before Gerilyn comes over. I have an hour and a half. So I need to hurry up and get some stuff done before she comes. So, um, cause I told her that I would have things ready because we spend a lot of time just chatting and stuff in the beginning and then we don't ever end up getting anything done. Well, not always, but anyway, I'm about to get this done. So I'll see you later when Gerilyn gets here. All right. Thanks. So guess who's here? <laughs> <laughs> he was getting ready to pray. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> One second. And thank you that it is growing in here to feed or to nourish our bellies. And I'm very happy to be with mom in China. God is great. Thanks for our food. Amen. 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 That Thanks was a book. great prayer. <laughs> so we haven't filmed yet. <laughs> They've been here for maybe an hour and a half. Yeah. But it's okay. We've been catching up, hanging out. We ordered some food. Um, Red Robin tomorrow we are fasting mm -hmm. um, and hopefully you guys are have joined us because by the time you see this um, fast will be over but um, so we got Red Robin I got a kids cheeseburger and some sweet potato fries Bubby got chicken tenders and fries and then Jer Bear got I got the insignata chicken it's like a chicken breast with a salad mm. and a side of onion rings <laughs> what yes so we're gonna share the onion rings and yeah so we're gonna eat and then we're gonna film. We're gonna try to keep our Real Talk Thursdays a little bit shorter because I'm sure a lot of you see like an hour and you're like, ugh. So we're gonna try to do what, 20 minutes to 30 minutes? Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna try to film maybe two of them, keep them at like 20 minutes so that they're like easier to watch for you guys. But anywho, I'm excited uh, to have them here. I'm excited to eat this food and I'm excited to film. Yay. Yay. And Bubby's happy. I'm very happy to have some food. Bubby's happy. He's so cute.